We're about to give this truck its first bath in many, many years, and there's a lot of grime on it. So what you want to do is get an SOS pad and just, you know, start someplace, of course, that no one's going to notice because you don't know what this pad, pad, SOS pad is going to do to your vehicle. So I'm starting right here on the fender. And honestly, I want to bring out some more of this. So I think if I just press hard, we'll get some more color. Oh, yeah, it's coming right through. Look at that. We don't want to go through the gray. Nice soapy water just to keep it lubed up and moving. Let's see where we're at. Oh yeah, she's coming right back around. The key is enough to do too much. But I definitely want more white in this truck. Well, what do you think? Shiny black? Or should I make it leave a doll? So I'm going to bring a little bit of this white, I think, all the way down the body line. Maybe even try to make it fall a little bit. Not doing too much, though. I like that that's white. Usually these trucks, when they patina, it's white, and then it goes across the crown of the hood up here. Here, aim me a little more. So it's like white all the way around, and then across the crown of the hood. And then, of course, the roof looks like how it actually looks. See, it's dulling back out. It does leave little scratches. It's got, I'm gonna buff it back out. I already know. We'll buff it. We'll bring it back around. I don't know what paint's on this truck. You're really only supposed to do this to older vehicles in like uh, the original kind of paint. I don't know. I'm having I'm drawing a blank. Lacquer? Sure, lacquer paint. Maybe, I don't know. Whatever you call the. Here, let me show you. Like this car. It's been repainted. But whatever paint they use is like the factory paint. A lot of this rust and stuff will come off just by using the SOS pad and it doesn't leave big scratches. This is leaving some scratches, but not too deep. This will bump back out. Like I said, I've never done this before, so we're going to figure out as we go. I'm just going to keep bringing this line across, like I said. It's almost like wet sanding. I mean, I got some sandpaper. I could get a little more aggressive with this. Now we're getting crazy. This is some 1500 grit. Sorry, the power washer is very loud in the background. Let's see how this brings out some color. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I want to see. All right, you kind of get what I'm doing. I'm bringing this out. I want to bring it down a little farther. I like the way that is looking. <laughs> Especially right here. I'm really trying to get it to feather out. A lot of them you see they come around and like kind of like narrow up like this. For whatever reason. I have some pictures of some C10s I've referenced on how to do this. I know I'm faking a patina. But this truck's ugly. <laughs> I gotta do something with it. Let me show you the other side here real quick. See what we got going on here? I'm gonna bring this all the way down the side. Both sides. Kind of bring some of this down a little. So yeah. Just gonna keep going. I got my 15,000 grit or 1500 grit, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna do the whole thing. 
kind of bring you back in when I'm done because this is going to take a long time. <laughs> oh, dang. Probably not going to get it all done today. At least I like to get the hood done. So, maybe I'll throw you on the time lapse. Although I'm running out of memory, running out of time. Story of my life. <laughs> the older you get, the more learned. Less memory you got and the less time you got. Speaking of old, still unsure about them license plates. Pretty unsure about them. But you leave me a comment down below. Do you like them? Or is it just a big white patch under here that I, maybe I should just spray paint them black? So they kind of blend in. And would you buff this? Or would you leave it kind of satiny? Because this is clean right here. But you're going to see my marks for sure. Yeah, I'm buffing it. Oh, the detail shop. Why wouldn't I want it to be clean? I really want to fix that dent right there too. It bugs me. Oh, everything that's wrong with this truck, you know, the bed not attached, all that jazz. That dent bugs me the most. So, piece of wood and a hammer. We'll get that back out. That's it for today. I got a good start on it. Definitely buffing this out afterwards. I think it's gonna look sweet. I think I want to start bringing it down some, but usually on these trucks, they pretty much only do patina or like do this kind of naturally on the body line, it seems like. So it would do it on top of here a little bit too. So I'm gonna do that. Same thing down there, just a little bit kind of Bring it around some more. So there we go. It's ready for buff. Now, what I wanted to do was make this not even. So I did everything I could to just, you just want to make it even, but it doesn't happen evenly in nature. Now I was gonna just buff it and I don't feel very good. So I'm just gonna go home. <laughs> I really want to just buff this thing out. It's almost done. It's a three-step buff and a wax. I do got to fix that bare spot, but I'll deal with it tomorrow <laughs> after it's dry uh, that's gonna do it for today and then i'll be back on it tomorrow we'll get it buffed out and looking good you can see some light scratches and stuff that all buff out 
And if it doesn't, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I know I'm ruining this pristine truck. <laughs> uh, the way I actually, uh, the way I found worked the best was this SOS pad and then the 1000 grit where I wanted to wear it through and then the uh, 1500 grit just kind of knock a lot of the crap off that the SOS pad didn't get. You can do it however hell you want. There's no rules. First time I've ever done anything like this and I think it's turning out pretty all right. This truck is going to be a badass shop truck one day. We're getting there. Pinstriping I think next. Maybe some lettering. <laughs> we'll see how crazy we get. Also, it needs to go three inches lower front and back. I want a tuck tire and have it static. Uh, that'll be after I work on the 69. So, yeah, I'll be back at it. Oh, I feel terrible. Sorry, I went saying the whole thing. It is time to buff. And what I'm using is, for the first step anyways, is this stuff called Smart Cut. It's supposed to reduce buffing swirls. And this really isn't a hard cut. I do have some harder stuff, but I'm gonna start with this and just see if it brings it out. I'm also gonna use a really crappy pad because there's no point in ruining a good pad for this. So let's get started. See, a lot of people put the compound right here on their pad. You just put it on the vehicle. That way you can just chooch along and you're gonna grab compound. Just remember which way your compound's spraying. All you want to keep the buffer flat. That's the key to buffing.
Uh, let's come on with the harder stuff. This is a harder cut, hence the H. Just right here in the middle. I kind of want to bring the shine back out of it. A little bit more. That puts some pretty good buff marks. We left some pretty good buff marks, right? So we're gonna go ahead and go to the next step, which is to pull all the buff marks back out of it. Now this is a, a brightener for black cars, but what it does is it pulls a lot of the buff marks back out of it. You really wanna go slow with this step, Take your time. I also switched to a crappy foam pad. Let's see what we can do here. the camera's doing that justice but dang that looks so good so good <laughs> that's awesome now i gotta of course hit the edges and stuff i'm just showing you what the process here is the hard stuff by the way is um mcguire's it's a heavy cut i'll show you that it's a uh, ultra speed compound it's an extra heavy cut. This is also supposed to not put swirls into it. It's a little uneven, but that's to be expected because of how crappy this paint is. It's giving me the look I want though. So now I just gotta do the rest of the truck. Afterwards, we're gonna come back with this wax. Uh, this wax is supposed to last up to six months. You have to really try it to see how long it does last. It's lasted pretty good on the life scale car well, let's say it's not as good as i would like it to be i guess but it it's still there it still beads up so it definitely beads stuff up it lives up to this name it's been like a month so that's the process i'm just gonna go ahead and do it you just sit back and enjoy it Uh, now, I gotta say, I am being a little careless because it really doesn't matter too much. 
I mean, I kind of got through the paint right there. If anything, it just adds to the patina of the truck. So, like a customer car, I'm probably gonna not do that. I'm gonna slow her down a little bit. I'm not gonna use the hard compound except on scratches. I use like the medium cut compound. Really, all I'm doing on like a customer car is just bringing back the shine, getting a nice wax on it, gonna have you know a beautiful looking car. I'm not restoring their cars. Not that I'm restoring this, but you know. You know what I'm saying. Biggest things about buffing, buffer flat, flat as you can be. I mean, honestly, you're gonna roll up on these edges. There ain't nothing you can do about that. But just try to keep it as flat as possible. That helps with swirl marks, because you get up on an edge, you get, like right here, what I got going on, you get swirl marks. So, buffer's flat. It's not that hard. Uh, you, ain't gonna, you don't really wanna crank it up to a really fast speed. Keep it, this I actually only run on like 15 to 20 at most, at max. We don't, especially modern cars, the paint is not that great on modern cars. Not that this is much better, but you'll know, burn through it really easy. So just go slow, especially if you're learning. Just start off on the one, 1 1.5, keep it flat. Use a nice medium compound and then go with a light compound afterwards to get the swirl marks out. Not that hard. I was pretty intimidated the first time I bought something. Now we do it every day. That's all right, it's done. A lot of buffing and polishing. It's far from perfect. There's still a lot of scratch marks in it from the uh, sanding. I didn't really sand the sand marks out, which you gotta progressively step down. But I think it turned out really freaking sweet. I don't know what you think. I like it a lot better. It's far from done. It needs a protectant on it now. I mean, it's got a wax on it right now, but it really needs like a clear or something. I have some Vice Grip Garage clear coat. I might stick on it later, I might spray it on. But it is getting lettered, and I don't want to do anything until that lettering is all done. So, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Scrapyard Choppers. I'm Ronnie Danger, thanks for sticking around, thanks for supporting the channel, and I'll see you next time, God bless you.